All right, so if Mars was warmer billions of years ago, we don't quite know why, wouldn't that also mean that Earth was different billions of years ago? And it's actually a puzzle because the, the sun would have been 50% less powerful for us as well. Exactly. It doesn't just affect Mars, right? Yeah. Um, and so you might have imagined that the Earth would have been very cold yep. in the past. Now, we can try and measure the temperature of Earth over very long periods of time. Yep. Uh, this is, we can't get back to many billions of years. That's right. Uh, we can see things like stromatolite fossils, yep. which form in oceans. So we know there were oceans on Earth three or four billion years in the past. Okay. But the period we've really got some evidence is the last few hundred billion years. Basically, there are not that many rocks much older than that left. That's right. And what rocks there are have been buried deep and brought to the surface again by all that plate tectonics. And what you can see is that probably on a historical scale, the Earth has been warmer in the past than it is now. Okay. So here we're looking back to hundreds of millions of years, and you see the Earth's had hot periods and cold periods. Yep. But in fact, a lot of the history of the Earth, the Earth was on average maybe 16 degrees warmer than it is now. Okay. Um, and this is almost certainly like when the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Yep. We believe there were no polar ice caps. Antarctica, well, it wasn't Antarctica, the continents had moved around. Yep. Uh, but the whole Earth was much hotter than it is now. And that's almost certainly because it had a very much stronger greenhouse effect than it does now. That's right. So everything was a bit more warmer and a bit more humid. Yep. And you can see the temperature then moved down. Various changes in the geological cycle on the Earth got rid of a lot of the carbon dioxide and the methane and cooled the Earth down. Yep. Then for the last few million years, we've had a series of ice ages. Yes. Um, and right now we're in between ice ages and a bit warmer, but the Earth is nonetheless pretty cold at the moment compared to what it's been in the last time, despite the fact the sun back then was weaker than it is now. Yep. And there's almost certainly rather complicated changes in the atmospheric composition over the last few hundred million years. Yep. There's some debate about whether at various points of the past the Earth has entirely been covered in ice. Okay. Because this sort of snowball Earth could be a uh, permanent condition. Once you manage to cover the entire Earth with snow, that snow reflects yes. the incoming light very well and it doesn't evaporate very well. So you're going to have less water vapour in the atmosphere and more reflection. So you'd imagine kind of once the Earth got into a snowball state, it might stay there. Because it would just stay cold, you're not getting more heat, so you get a little bit colder and then a little bit colder. And there's some debate about whether there have been snowball periods in the Earth's history. There certainly haven't been in the last few four or five hundred million years. Maybe before that, there have been periods um, there certainly were glaciers on Earth back yep. then, and maybe a lot of them. It's, it's unclear whether they covered the entire Earth or only some of it. Okay. Um, but nonetheless, it seems that the Earth's climate hasn't changed drastically. Well, it's, it's gone up and down in temperature quite a bit due to changes in the atmosphere um, for rather complicated reasons we don't fully understand. What we do understand a bit more is where the carbon dioxide on Earth has gone. Yep. Uh, it's been produced by the volcanoes, but then turned into carbonate rocks and subducted under the surface. So all of that carbon dioxide that has been produced is essentially buried in the ground. Yes, and then volcanoes will emit more of it. And maybe that's some of the heating events. We get a lot of volcanoes roosting a lot of carbon dioxide. It can escalate the level. Yep. And then there are various feedback cycles. Once yep. you get a bit hotter, maybe methane that was being stored in the oceans or the peats then escapes and keeps it hotter. Okay. So once it's in a hot state, it might stay in a hot state. Yep. Um, but nonetheless, it's been the case like this for a long time that the climate's not been drastically different. Yep. What we do know is we're changing things right now. Yep. And we are, of course, taking large amounts of these buried carbohydrates and releasing them into the atmosphere. And certainly the temperature now is hotter than it's been for a very long time, many thousands of years. Yep. And uh, this, of course, is global warming, which you probably don't need us to tell you about.